I'm multitasking right now. I'm heading back to the old church. There's some stuff that I saw when I was editing that I didn't get last time that I'm going back for. Also, I just didn't have enough cash. It's cash only. It's a really strange place. It's an old church and all the tags are ancient. So many of them are faded. They're not even there anymore. They've been there so long that the pen used on the tags has faded. The prices are really good for a lot of things. Not everything, for a lot of things. And also, there's no discount, but it's okay because there's a lot of things there that have just been sitting there forever. I'm going back. I'm gonna go back. Hopefully, I'm gonna go get the Jacob Bengal that I saw and some other things that I saw, bringing more money. And I'm hoping to do a live from there if the connection is good, which will be over. By the time you see this, that live will be over. That was for members only. But stay with me. I'm a vintage jewelry expert if you're new here and I collect and resell vintage jewelry. It's my passion. It's what I'm good at. And I'm heading over there now. Stay with me. Well, I made it. It's really hot, hot, hot and sticky. It's 85 degrees here today. So it's gonna be 100 degrees inside this building. And I'm dressed way down. I'm not wearing any jewelry. First thing I'm gonna do is go grab the Jacob Bengal if it's here. Ooh, I like these plants. Look at that. What is that? It's huge. That is huge, I love it. It's probably like pumpkin or something. It's all, it's an overgrown garden here. See, see back there? That was, um, you know, I forget what they're called. Greenhouses. And it's still here. So I'm gonna grab that. How cute is this? I don't think I looked in this booth. Lots of um, pink depression. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look at that chair. Lots of pink depression glass. Okay, I'm gonna stick, oh, Lucite lamp. Does that say $28? It does. Really, really, um, really thinking about that. Look, it even has the finial. I'm gonna say no. There's so much here that I know I missed. Oh, I wanted the little flower, the little sort of Murano glass earrings with the flowers. Oh, look at that ring. Look at that. Is that a is that a signet ring? That's cool. All right. That angle. I'm back at the Native American um uh, sort of featured case. I'm noticing that beautiful bowl on this lucite stand. Look at this basket weave it says tamarack goose cree cree nation cree something no prices on that all right i'm gonna try and keep talking that's a beautiful necklace that's just very very special the cross i like this turquoise cross um, I'm going to get that, I think. And let's see what else is here. I might have to change the, um, the sound. You might hear pleasant shopping music. See what else excites me. Some nice chrysocolla that I know is four ninety five. That's spectacular. Oh, look at that fetish. That's spectacular. Look at all the Roseville. This is not my niche, but I know it. Wait, is it Roseville? Yeah. Wow. military things watches this is a very man's case old keys i like the old key with the heart that's cool i saw this 
I feel like that could be a obey. So we'll check on that. I like the uh, the red glass up there. That's special. See what excites me up here. There's that. I found the bangle. There's the bangle. Okay. There's a Three Graces cameo there. How wonderful is that? I also like this Cosine vase a lot. That's beautiful and tall. Okay. Those earrings are still calling me. Scarab bracelet. Um, the black cameo, that's cool. Okay, um, I'm going to get some help. The green one. And then there's also a pin on the other side. I've been looking for one no, of no. these for uh, a long yeah. time. Okay, so um, this multi. That's missing stones. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. By my standards, I would say a lot of them actually. Oh, like okay, never mind. Like Oh, no, no, no. And then there's a little um, sterling silver turquoise cross in the um, sort of Native American case. That beautiful one. They're all beautiful. Lindsay, um, who has this Native stuff, is very interesting. Because she lives in Manhattan, and she has traveled extensively and like spent a lot of time with tribal jewelers and uh, met a lot of them and she's super knowledgeable and like she's got sometimes some super important stuff which all is, right she, and i think that one's marked 40 right i'm gonna get that yeah okay and then there's another one the really big heavy one, this one? no stones this one yes weird yeah about like how much is that I think I'm going to get that one too. Thank you. I see beads, well, studs actually, and bone and fringe. This is looking pretty authentic. No, don't like it. Don't like it. Not flattering enough. Okay, so this is really, really difficult because. Um, I can only, I can, I can only look at like one thing at a time. He has to take it out of the case and show it to me. And the music's very loud. So I'm going to do the best I can. I'm downstairs now. Maybe it'll just be most of a tour. I did get what I came back for. Here's this stuff more slowly. There you go. That's that shelf. Then there's this shelf. Perfume bubble. Look at that owl. Look at that buzz. All right. Once again, I have no idea what I'm looking at. I know I like that. I know I like that. I think that's Mexican. And then there's um, a low shelf or um, a narrow shelf here with things on it. And this magnificent sort of fish candy dish. Very mid-century. 
I wonder how much this, I really like this striped chair. It's in such beautiful condition. It says 225. Not bad. I do love it. Also this, this is, um, I know how to work with old Lucite. I usually, I mean, how can I put this? I haven't tried it with something in this condition. Um, this is pretty cloudy, but I love the shape of it. And it's $12. Okay, so I'm going to grab that. And I will make a video about the products that I use to fix it up. That will be a good video. All right. These I thought I might have missed. Those are cool. And looking at them again, I can see that they're really not anything. That right there, that's beautiful, sort of old floral. Some old ties. This shelf is above. We'll see if there's anything here that excites me. Not seeing anything I like. Some of these hat pins. So these are possibilities. Oh, and the cigarette case. That is a cigarette case. That is a possibility. And I'm looking at the tag through the mirror. And I think it says, what does it say? I think it says 200. So not a possibility for me today, but I love it. Okay, next case. Now I'm also looking for things that I can bring to the group that, oh, that says 195. That's beautiful, 195. Uh, that's interesting. But, oh, I see sort of a Wendy Gill. Kind of, oh, I like those. Those could very well be Wendy Gill. Well, oh, and the poured glass. I wanted to check that. So that's one thing, two things. Now the shelf above. Oh, how did I, what is, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, these are nice. These are nice Murano's look in clear. We'll, we'll get a price on those. Okay, so for this shelf, the top shelf, it's just the one strand. The next shelf, I like that. Actually, now I'm seeing it. Do the black with the... Is that, no, that's broken. That's broken. See, it's sitting, the, 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 um, the black stone or whatever that is, is sitting in the bezel. So no, we're going to check this poured glass looking thing. So two things so far. And then see what else is here. Oh, there they are. The third thing, I'm, yay, I found them, the flowered earrings. I can't believe I didn't get them. <laughs> yay. All right, and then, all right. That's it for that case, for that shelf. Next shelf. Oh. 
Now those are cinnabar. That's what real cinnabar looks like. We will check those. Okay. And then a giant looking rocket up there. Okay. Oh. What is that ball ring? Oh, it's a spinner. I also really like that. That looks Scottish or Indian or something. I, I'm doing video. Okay, so that is one. Oh, oh, it's plastic. That's cool. I thought it was poured glass. Oh, it's 38. I know it's kind of grand. I'm going to put it back. And then, can I just reach in? Okay. Yeah, that's actually an extra. That's not one of the five. But since it was right there. That's gorgeous. How much does that say? That is gorgeous. That is really gorgeous. Ooh. Okay, we're going to get that. And the little flowered uh, bead drop in the box. Yes. Only because I had them once and I lost one. And I've been looking ever since. That's 18. Yes, those are for me. And then there was four more, no, three more things. <laughs> three more things wait oh the cinnabar earrings <laughs> oh i like these oh it's old i don't know what it says 48. oh okay all right so those all right we'll get those just because i love them so much these earrings the crazy rhinestone looks like old Wendy Gell. Oh, I like the way you're displaying. Oh, they really do look like old Wendy Gell, don't they? Oh, we're going to get, does that say 25? All right, we're going to get those. Score. And then, one, oh, the, uh, the big giant uh, lockety pockety watch. Pockety watchity thing. Wow, that's a that's cool. How can I not get that? That's awesome. That up there. That was the first thing I spotted in this case. Oh, you don't see these every day. 85. All right, it's not in my budget today, but wow. That maybe someone might want from a, a live. I'll, I'll revisit that when I do the live. This is a case I totally missed last time. I didn't even know this was in here. Some interesting bangles. That's an interesting little sort of silver pillbox. Marbles. Okay, so anything good here? Nice to carry your own light, right? Uh, not really seeing anything. That. Is that with glass in it? Okay. Some scarab things. Uh, nothing super grabbing me. See what's hanging from up on the hook. Okay. All right. And there's all of this. Anything? Oh, look at her. Sweet. Old Christmas ornaments. This is sweet. And it's little. Okay. And we'll have a whole bunch of these. Those are fun. 
not really my thing though. So because it's not really my style, I'm going to pass on those. This, I bet it's old Russell Wright. Wait, I don't want to. Um, look at that shape though. I had these in pink when I was in my 20s. My first set of dishes was Russell Wright, Melmac, probably worth a fortune now. Oh, look at this. Didn't I just see this? <laughs> Someone shops in the same place that I do. <laughs> So last time I was here, I went down this corridor and I missed that this was here. This whole little area looks like books mostly. Interesting little nook. Interesting little nook. Bride's basket, right? Little, little basket boxes. Okay. That's awesome. Oh, stainless table, too. Okay. We'll go back over this way. Back over here. All right. Yes, I liked a bunch. I remember I liked a, a bunch of things in this case, but then they turned out to be, oh, that. That's right. I wanted to look at that. I'll get his help for that. All right. See what else is exciting. See if anything else is exciting. Um, interesting link chain. Oh, that's cool. Kind of a kind of an interesting. Oh no, it's just it's. Died. Yeah, I was looking at it. It looks kind of clear. No. All right. And now next shelf down here. Those look like they could be Haskell's in that box down there, but they don't look like they're in good condition at all. So I'm not even going to look at them because condition is everything. Condition is everything. Any cool earrings? See, 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 see. Okay. Nothing here really that's getting me. I'm just taking a moment to look in this booth. I was just in this cabinet. Now this booth has a lot of beautiful things that have my attention. Um, I like, I like the art that is here. Look at her. This is great. That's really, really great. Yeah, a redhead, probably 1980s. Let's see what it says. And it says it's 48, Emily, Sean. Could just be art class, you know? But I really like it. There it is, you can see it better now. I like that a lot. And then what else is here? Oh, look at this. That's marble. No, it's glass. It's glass over a treated painted. Ooh, this is beautiful. 
I love this one. Look, it's a frame over the mirror, so it could be a dresser tray or a mirror. And does that say 18? No, it doesn't. What does it say? I can't read it. It's upside down. Well, it says 18. So should I get it? Should I get it? It's so nice. I feel like that would be good for the new studio space. I'm going to leave it. I feel like these are new since I've been here. I literally, I feel like all of these things, like I don't remember noticing these last time I was here. And then this is all the fake 925 from India. All of this. Not real 925. Um, I guess it could be if it's old enough. Doesn't look like it to me though, honestly. The earrings have some age. See if there's any good ones in there. Hmm. Nope, nothing's grabbing me. Lucite lighter is nice. That's fun. Right? Ooh. That's cool. Put that with my group. I love that. Okie doke. So this is what's what's growing. Oh, yeah, it would be perfect. Oh, <laughs> he's pulling other things out of his pockets right now. <laughs> yes, these sort of Wendy Gell style. And love those. Those are for me. Also, you guys know I've been looking for a malachite bangle, right? I think you guys know that. If you don't, you know now. <laughs> All right. And then look how interesting this is. So he told me after I stopped taping that this is from a very good jeweler um, and that it's rather well known. So I love that. Yeah, love it. Is that garnet with a locket? It is garnet with a locket. Now that was here last time. Yeah. Can't tell how much it is. I'm gonna sneak over. I feel like there's things here that I didn't see last time. Um, like there's a watch chain there that looks like it could be a decent length. See the thing about watch chains, do you see that? There it is up closer. So the thing about these is that they're often short. They're often like 11 or 12 or 13 inches. So if that's like 16 inches or better, that's a really good find. And then these things I've seen. These things, anything I missed. Okay. All right, not seeing anything else. Now, that shelf. Okay, I feel like I, I got rid of that. There it is. Those big costume rings are so great. Look at those. How did I miss those? Oh, there's one that's like a carved lucite in a gold, gold tone kind of thing. That one, that one right there. That's very cool. Well, look at that. And then what else is here that I miss? There's lots of Bakelite. Okay. All right, lots of coral here. Okay. Oh, I like the enamel ring. Look at the enamel striped ring. That's beautiful. That is so unusual and beautiful. We'll look at that. All right, I think I got everything else. I love, I love this black. See that black chain? It's like a ball chain. It's a watch fob with a black ball at the end. I think this could be iron. This could be German and iron. It could be a big deal. So we'll have a look at that. And the rings. 
And then let's see what's back here. Oh, the big locket. I definitely want to look at the big locket. I think I'm going to do that live. It was, what is that? It's kind of crazy. I wish I could see it better. You can put that on the tray. I'm going to check it with the loop and everything. And then um, this enameled one. That's beautiful. How much does that say? 48. Okay. That you can put by the tray. Now, I know that's $1,000, but I'm really, really loving it. Can I just touch it? Yep. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is do a live where I ask them about that. You can put it on a tray. It's, it's magnificent. It's, it's a lot lighter. It's, I love it. Yeah, you can put that on the tray. And then um, there was something else. Oh, man, my brain. Oh, can I see these fun ones or just the pink one? That's not it. Oh, that's a stretchy. No, 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 no. Um, uh, I can't remember. Yeah, it's, it's already so hard. Like, it's so hard because I'm, I'm editing in my head. I feel like I'm going to check the one that looks like the, it's got like a yellow, large sort of, I th like rock crystal-y type of brooch. Yeah. Oh, it is citrine. Mid-19th century. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's etched. Is it a morning piece? Looks like a memento. I think it was probably the back seal. Oh. How much does that say? $2.95. Oh, too much for me today. Not in the budget today. All right, I'm going to go look at the, the tray now. Look at this headpiece. Oh, no, that's just, oh, that's a good one. 48. That's a good one. Nice, nice, nice. Still retains its original class. And it's all original? All original. Permanent 1882. That's amazing that you can pin it down to 1882. My favorite, my signature piece is a heart on a watch fob that I'm, you know, people recognize me for that. And it's also like, I can say 1880s. Does this open? Are there pictures inside it? There's nothing inside of it, but it does open. Okay. I just cut my nails. Oh <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> there it is. Okay. So this is, this is um, $998. So we, I'm going to ask about that live, but then everything else I'm going to look at with the loop right now. So this is missing stones. So that's a no. This I'm going to ask everybody else about in the, the live in a few minutes. I'm going to go live and see what everyone has to say because they're only slightly smaller. They're only slightly smaller than the other ones that I got. This is magnificent. All right, so that's a yes today. This, it says it's malachite. I don't know. Oh, I'm going to, I don't know. This one I'm not sure about. These are beautiful. Those I'm sure of, that I'm sure of. This stunning antique for 68. This one, okay, so this is correct. Um, I'm going to rub it and see if I smell anything. I don't think so, but I like it a lot. How, how much is this? I don't know. It is. Oh, it's 68. No, that's a no. I thought it was less. Okay. So that can go back. And these... 1980s era, oops, for, 
Oh no, it just broke off. Okay. That's a no. This looks like beautiful condition. That's 48. It's really, really special. That's a yes. And then this, I think, is the star of the show. Look at that. That looks super important. Beautiful azure malachite. Beautiful, obviously, hand-picked stone. Just gorgeous. And then this is totally fun for $12. And then these are for me because I can replace the one I lost. And the Lucite tray. Okay, and now this beautiful case. These are all $10 each. The Bakelite is nice. See, now this is Bakelite that I like. I like it when they're in that color and they're the same. The horse brooch is fabulous. Next shelf. Okay, that's kind of a fisherman. Can't get here from there. Can't get there from here. And then that's gorgeous. Look at that bowl. Look at that buzz. You see the horses on it? And then these, they do look very much, some of them look very much like jet. There they are. Don't they though? They really do. Especially that one. The variegated sizes. Whole group of cameos here. And we're back with the French pop. I love the French pop. I wish I didn't have to worry about it. Great elephant ashtray. Or, yeah, it's an elephant. Oh, that's fantastic. Pretty piano shawl on there. Oh, it's in tatters. Yeah, it's shattering. That's a shame. It's beautiful. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't do things in that condition. That's not my thing. That looks like an Etro old um, Well, I can tell from here that the condition is not good, so I'm not going to go over there. So I'm right by the speaker again, so I've got to keep talking. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so he doesn't want to be on camera. Like, it's just it's a really different vibe here. He says he throws people out. So... You know, I feel lucky to be here. Check this again. That's nice. Hanging. More uranium. Oh, look at the cat. Whoa, look at that cat. That is fabulous. Okay. These are awesome. These are so Art Nouveau. Look at the shape of that. Oh, wow. It almost looks like it's alive. What does it say? It says two pieces, uh, green creamer sugar art pottery, 45, right? And then there's these, probably the same person. It's probably 1970s. It has such a nouveau thing happening. And that is also... 45. She's marvelous. Little. Oh, it's missing. It's, it's missing the center. Push. Oh, it's for a door. <laughs> oh, look at them. Ooh, baby, baby. <laughs> Not my thing. There you go. That's nice. Okay. Chandeliers. Yeah, this is a pretty one. It's actually really beautiful. See the drop? Stunning. What about the really long feather? Way, way in the back. That's the last of it. This really reminds me of Haskell. Miriam Haskell did long feathers like this. It could just be a finding for one, but it's great for $12. We're going to get that. That's great. Thank you.
Okay. I didn't do it. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to show you this too. So this is the latest. So we're going to get that. We're getting all of these. This, this beautiful thing. This reminds me of Haskell, honestly. This I love. Oh, it's not a watch face. I thought it was a watch face. Oh, no, I'm not sure. Okay, I'll consider that while I'm down there. And let's go get the earrings. So what you don't know, Paul, is that I have earrings that I've been wearing every day for years and years that are the same as these. And they're impossible to find now. There's just like cheap ones from Amazon or whatever. And all the people in my community love those earrings. So this is such this is such a find for all of the, all of us. You're doing a good deed. <laughs> So now I'm going to put this one back. Don't kill me. I thought it was something different. Yeah. It's wonderful. You know, I'm doing okay for today, though. Not, not a bad day. Not a bad sale to have on the books. <sighs> okay. And then all of these. That's for everybody. They're going to be underneath the video on the shelf. This is a very serious piece of jewelry. Okay, this is like museum. There are four pieces here. There is the locket. Okay, which is marked from Birmingham, 1882. There is the chain, which is marked for Birmingham, 1882. There are these two rings. You see these two rings? This is how they did it then. Everything was constructed, which is why when I do my designs, I put these things together. This is one ring. This is two rings. Both of these are original. They are marked Birmingham for 1882. All right. And just these alone, if you could find a pair would be something that you would have to pay for. I forgot to count this part. This is the part that the locket hangs from, and then these are the two rings. Okay, these are a match set. So 1882, five pieces, pieces together. And that is a lifetime acquisition. And I'm gonna be selling this I have decided if I sell it, I will be selling it at auction either the last week in November or the first week in December, all right? And chances are I will do it. I'm getting a lot of texts and messages that say I should keep it. So I thought for sure before I started getting all those messages that I would be selling it. Look, even these links all are original. And for those of you that say that you don't catch the prices in the video, I paid $9.98 for this. When I sell it, I'm going to be starting the bidding at only $1,500. And if you're a regular, right, and you know who you are, you know if I value our relationship, if you are one of those few people and you would like to make a decent offer, don't hesitate. I just might take it. And you don't have to pay all at once either. Okay, I think if I don't keep it, I want to make sure it really goes to the right place. This I haven't Googled yet. Um, but I don't think I need to. Now that I can see it closer in better lighting, uh, I don't think it's a Haskell. It is Haskell era, though. It definitely has that Russian gold look, and I love the size of that. I paid $12 for that. That will be coming up at auction. I have auctions Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can text 917-809-7250 
to get free alerts when I go live with an auction or a sale or a pop-up. There's no spam. It's my real phone number. So these are the ones I wear all the time. And these are my Levere's that I've had forever that keep them sitting very upright. And then these are the ones that I bought. So you can see it's not much of a difference. Um, these are going to be coming up under the video. They're actually under the video right now. Okay, they're $30. They're vintage sterling silver and CZ, hard to find. Uh, new old stock, $30 under the video right now. First come, first serve. Put it like that. This, I haven't been able to find anything out about this one. This came from that esoteric Native American case. These are the symbols of the maker. This is very heavy. Look at the thickness of this. This is a unique... Thing. So that will be coming up at auction. These, I knew these were Sajin when I picked them up. Um, but I thought I would wait to say it until the, uh, the whole recap. These are Garnet and Cinnabar, the real deal. Wonderful, collectible. They are marked Sajin with an early mark. This, this is a very large size ring, but it's sizable, right? I do sizing. These are all topaz. That is natural topaz. And it's beautiful in real life. It has such sparkle. It's almost getting blown out right now by the lights that, oh, there, there you can kind of see it. Yep, yep, yep. This I just want to share. So <laughs> this is the one that I've had the single forever that I never wanted to give up on. And then these are the ones that I just found. So I think, I think a nice, Nice replacement, right? Very happy. This has no markings other than 925 mark twice. Look at the detail of the enameling. There's some guilloche in there and some enameling in dark blue, light blue. This reminds me, this is the kind of work that ball watches have. So um, there you go. That is a very special piece. I paid 48 for that. I'm sorry if I forget, this was 18, this was 68, this was 68, these were 48, 45, this was 12, 998, and then these were $15 each, no discount, and they're under the video for 30. That's like a public service as far as I'm concerned. And then this was 48, this is beautiful. That came from the Native American I think this is special. I think this was a sleeper. No markings of any kind. Beautiful old Sleeping Beauty. This, this is another star. This reminds me so much of Charles Horner. This, I think it says O'Toole. It says 2002 something, Sterling Azurite Malachite, okay? Beautiful, one of a kind American studio artisan. Look at the stone. Okay, I mean, this is, this again, this is a noble piece of jewelry. Okay, this is something, I'm starting it very reasonable at auction, I'm sure, but this you can consider a serious purchase. This is, you know, we're gonna make it a fun light decision, but um, it's a keeper. It's a lifetime acquisition as well. And then finally, so fun. This is fun. Okay, I paid $12 for this. It has kind of a little Vendome kind of floor -de Um, No marks. Really great condition. Really unique. Haven't really seen anything like that before. So when I see things like that, I pick them up. You can't get them everywhere. No marks on the inside. Wonderful condition. Just a really, really fun thing. You can do so many different things with. You can consider it a twofer. You can get that off. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching this week. I will see you at the auction or see you at the next one. Thank you so much. I love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.